Blog Talk Radio. MOF Radio. When you want to know what's up in the MOF. Oh shit. <laughs> you done fucked up, man. <laughs> you done put two of America's most wanted in the same motherfucking place at the same motherfucking time. <laughs> MOF Radio. We are back with another full season of MOF, season 24 to be exact. Wow, can you believe we've been doing this for 24 seasons? I can't. Seriously, 10 years, 24 seasons, Madden 03 with Michael Vick on the cover. You guys remember that season? I do. That's when I was good. Anyway, um, I'm proud of all you guys for uh, for making the MOF what it is today. Uh, without you guys, uh, we wouldn't be here, so... So uh, props to you, big ups. And uh, with that being said, uh, congrats to Coach Betts on his Super Bowl 23 win over Coach uh, Hayes G, uh, better known as Hassan QK and the Jaguars. Uh, this is Betts' third Super Bowl championship, the first coach ever to win three championships. Uh, that's some feat. And, uh, and have no fear because Coach Betts is back. He's, he's back this year. He's back with the Redskins to defend his title. He's going to go for number four. Uh, which is astonishing, uh, but, yeah, he's going to go for number four. So hopefully someone knocks him off because uh, we want to see someone different. Um, so before we start the show, uh, I know you're all expecting a somber tone from me, uh, but you're not going to get that. So I hope you are disappointed. Uh, it is true that I did lose uh, two games today. Uh, one was a close one. One was a close one to the Chiefs, so I lost 16-13. I did expect to win that game, but I did not. Uh, he uh, actually... Just played great goal line D, best goal line D I've ever seen, actually. Uh, kicked the game-winning field goal with no no time left in the clock, beat me. Um, and then I lost uh, a bad one to the Bengals, 46-7, to uh, pretty bad. But I tell you what, both of those coaches might have something to say about their division titles before the end of the season uh, because uh, those, those Bengals looked really good. Uh, so cats out of the bag, per se. So um, now uh, with all that spring being here and the summer coming soon um, and with baseball starting, um, you guys got to stay focused, you know, because it's always MOF season around here. So, so stay active on the forums, stay active on the blast chat, uh, because the more active everyone is, the better chance we have of having a, a great season. Because uh, look at last season. That was probably one of our best seasons we had, and uh, it was in the NFL offseason, so it can be done. Uh, it'll just take some extra work for everybody. Uh, so speaking of everyone, we have some new coaches this year. Uh, we have some rookies. We have uh, Coach Football Ray, who's coaching the Chargers. Uh, we have Coach Old School Q, that's with a K. He'll be coaching the Browns. Uh, I don't think he's very happy about it, but he's coaching the Browns. Uh, we've got Coach Raw Neasy, who's – I just love saying that, Raw Neasy. He's, uh, he's with the Rams. Um, and we have Coach Kurtzy, who has been getting a lot of hype. He'll be coaching the Giants, and that's Giants that dropped all the way down to the low 20s in the draft, which is, uh, which is crazy. And, of course, the other two rookies that are considered rookies – even though they made it to the conference championships last year. Uh, Coach Hayes G. Hassan Tuke, he's with the Jags, and Coach Jupent with the uh, the Colts. So uh, well, welcome. So with that, uh, tonight's show, where me and Paul are going to go, uh, we're going to break down the divisions. We're going to each pick a division winner. We're going to pick our playoff winners. Uh, we're going to pick a Super Bowl winner. So, so get ready for that. We're going to also pick our two locks for the weeks. Uh, we have week one through four open. Our expert picks are, are in, and... Um, and hopefully we can get some guests after that. So without further further ado, um, here Paulie, uh, we have Paulie on the line. Are you there? Hey, Paulie, you there? You got me. You got me. You unmuted me. I just heard unmuted. There we go. Sorry about that. Hit the wrong button. <laughs> so what's going on, Paulie? What's up, man? How you doing? So welcome back. Welcome back to MWF Radio. Uh, looks like you um. You you choked it up last season with the Steelers. What happened, man? Yeah, man. Hey, ran into a buzzsaw. What are you going to say? It was a close game. I'm the one that played him the toughest out of anybody, so can't really complain, you know? You definitely did, and I, and I told you he's beatable. Um, unfortunately, you couldn't get it done, but that's why there's another season, and you're the Lions now. I, I expect big things from you. Uh, so I wish you the best of luck before we got anything started. I hope you, uh, I hope you get it done this season. 
You too, brother. You too, because you have my team. You have my pretty boy. So you got to get it done, man. You got to start running the ball a little bit more, man. You can't always put in his hands draws, uh, little counter, little stretch. You can't. You know, you have to play off that pass. You can't just be passing ninety times a game. Shit's gonna happen if that happens. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna need to uh, to practice because I, I obviously uh, I'm not playing too well with the Patriots, but it's gonna take some time. So. All right, so the first thing I wanted to do with you is uh, is break down the season. Uh, this is going to be the fun part. We get to uh, break down each division, uh, pick a division winner, and then pick uh, pick some playoff uh, some playoff winners. So the first division we're going to break down uh, looks like it's going to be the AFC East. Now, uh, yours truly is in there with the Patriots. We got uh, Latin Yank back with the Jets. Uh, Storm down is with the Miami Dolphins, and we got Beast back with the Bills. So I'll go first. Um, I'm going to pick the Jets to win this division. I expect them to go uh, maybe 12 or 4, 11 or 5. Um, I'm going to change. I know my season predictions were a little different, but I'm going to change a little bit. I think Buffalo will finish second. I don't know if he's going to make the playoffs, but he'll finish second. I will finish third. Storm down, Storm down uh, burst will finish fourth because, uh, I mean, he can't win with Green Bay. He's not going to win with Miami. I'm sorry. So uh, I have Jets in the playoffs. That's it. Yeah, you know, I think – I'm sorry, man, but – I think the Jets will run away with this pretty clean, man. You know, second season in the row, you know, playing with the same team, his home team, and I just don't think you fit really good with the Pats, and I said that on draft day. And I think, you know, Dolphins are not going to do much, and I think Beast is checked out. I think he's not the old Beast. And Beast, yes, this is a challenge to you. Can you step up? Can you challenge the East? This is directly to you, baby. Can you step up and be the old man that won at MOF Super Bowl? Let's see it. That's the thing. Everyone forgets, you know, Beast, the last time he was here for a full season, he beat Young Cat in the Super Bowl and, and won with the Bills. So everyone has to remember that. So uh, if you can get back to form, this, this East might be tough. But you're right. Uh, the, the Patriots don't fit my, my style. But hopefully I can turn things around. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, so now we go with the AFC North, um, the Bengals and Big Dre, uh, who was the Rams last season. And then we got the Ravens. We got Coach Crazy back with the Ravens. Uh, we got Coach Baldy, that's uh, Dan Holman's brother, Dave. He's with the Steelers. And we got a rookie coach, old school Q, or K, I'm not really sure. Uh, he's with the Browns. And as always, um, the Browns, I think, to be last. Is, the Browns are always last. And I know I picked the Ravens to be in first place, but after playing the Bengals, my, my mind is definitely going to change here. I, I think the Bengals will run away with this division. And I think they'll be the only team that makes the playoffs out of the AFC North. Uh, I think the Ravens will be in second, Steelers in third, Browns in fourth. Yeah, you know, hey, I called it. You know, Big Dre, he's my uh, lab partner. I've known him for years now. You know, we went played in the Super Bowl together against each other, I should say. He's good, man. You know, nobody believed me when he had the Rams last year, but he's good. He can do some damage, especially in that division where, you know, Josh, huge disappointment. You know, second year with the same team. Come on, man, you gotta, you know, you gotta strap it up and see what's underneath the hood there, bro. But um, uh, Baldy, you kind of, you know, he disappointed me with my Steelers. You should have traded him to me because. I would have won this division. And uh, Browns, you know, hey, you talking a lot. You know, hopefully you can do more than talk and uh, win some games. And he beat the Ravens. I mean, yeah, that, that's pretty uh, – that might be his best win of the season. But, uh, yeah, that's a good win. So, All right, so you also picked the Bengals. And uh, we, so we both had the Bengals and Jets in the playoffs. Now, the AFC South, uh, this, this might be the best division in the history of the MLF because uh, – we have three guys who were uh, the final four last season. We got uh, we have Coach Youngcat who was undefeated with the Bears last year, so the Titans. Uh, we got Coach Gid Pent, who was the Chiefs last year. He is now the Colts. Uh, Coach Hassan or yeah Hassan 2K. I can't really. I'm just gonna call him Hayes. Coach Hayes with the Jaguars is back, and we got Coach Board X with the Texans, who did not play very well with the Cardinals last year, but. He did have that one game with the Chargers, and he beat the Redskins. So you gotta you gotta think if he can play with a better team, he might be a better coach. But uh, this division is gonna be crazy. Uh, I think they're gonna be. I think we're gonna see uh, three teams in the in the uh, in the playoffs here. We're gonna see, I think, Young Cat, uh, and the Titans, the Jaguars, and the Colts. Uh, maybe not in that order, but they will all be in the playoffs. I think the Titans will win this division, but uh, it'll be close. I think they're all all gonna be in the playoffs though. Yeah, you know. I think it's between it's a two horse race in this division. It's between the Titans and the Jags, 
um, you know, I haven't seen Haz since the Super Bowl loss. Maybe he's taking a little hard, drinking a little too much. I haven't seen him since, but I think he's going to challenge the Titans, and the Titans don't know what he's all about yet because they haven't faced anybody that can play like him with, you know, a team that he's used to. Um, Texans, um, it's all over, you know, rest in peace. Um, Colts, I think they're taking. I think they're going down this season. I think they're going to be a step down from last year. He doesn't have a good running game, and that's what he pretty much um, ran his offense out of last year with the Chiefs. I think he's maybe going to be, get the sixth seed, you know, the wild card. But you know, we'll see. He's good enough to do that. But I think it's between uh, the Jags and the Titans in this division, no doubt about it. It's going to be a uh, brawl. Gotcha. It's definitely going to be a brawl. It's going to be fun to watch. So uh, the Colts did lose their first game, so you could be right. They might be on, on the downswing, but. Either way, they'll be battling for that that uh, that sixth wild card or the fifth seed. We're not really sure, but we'll see what happens. So now the AFC West uh, it could be AFC South could be the best division. The AFC West might be the worst of this. But uh, I tell you right now, the Chiefs I originally picked to be in uh, I think third place. He could win this division. I think it's going to be a toss up though. It, it could be the Chiefs, Broncos, or Raiders. I'm not going to pick the Chargers because he's a rookie, but you never know. Uh, but I think I'm going to switch it. I'm going to go Chiefs win a division uh, with the Raiders right behind them and the Broncos a couple games behind them. And I think the Chiefs will be the only team to make the, make the playoffs and win this division. Um, but I don't know. It's going to be close. The Raiders are always good every season. Uh, but I'm going to go with the Chiefs winning the division and uh, getting in the playoffs. Uh, I think the Chiefs are going to win this. You know, another one of my lab partners here, KC Keith, a fellow defensive coordinator, um, he knew him for a long time now. You know, he knows football in and out, and that sometimes, you know, translates into Madden. You know, if you don't have the best stick skills, what you need to do is know what you need to do, on, you know, in order to stop the other team. And I think he can do that with the Chiefs. Pretty good defense, as you found out. Um, those guys stick right. like glue, you know. And um, I don't know, maybe Trev can, can challenge the Broncos. I'm not sure. Uh, team KA, I don't know where the hell what's going on with that team because I haven't really, you know, hasn't played a game yet. Football Ray is a rookie, still a little, uh, you know, wet in the diaper, so I don't know what's going on with him either. So we'll see what happens. He's definitely wet in the diaper. That's, that's, that's definitely true. But uh, I think, I mean, I took Trent to uh, have a breakout season. I picked him and uh, another coach to maybe have a breakout season, but I'm not really sure now that I think about it. I think the Chiefs are going to still win this division. So now that the AFC is finished, uh pick our AFC championship game. I'm going to go with uh, with the Jets and the Jaguars, and I think the Jets are going to do it. I think we're going to see Coach Latinyak in the Super Bowl uh, with Mark Sanchez and Tim Tebow. Uh, no chance on that one. You know, I like the Jets. You know, I like my boy Alex, you know, even though he thinks I don't, you know, I love him, man. I love him, but I think it's going to come from the South, man. It's either going to be, you know, the Jags or the Titans. That are going to win it out, and maybe even the Bengals. I say third. I think the, I take the Bengals over the Jets just because, you know, and I like big big Dre style. But it's either going to be the Titans or the Jaguars from the AFC, no doubt. Well, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, that's a good point. The Bengals might uh, have something to say about that as well. So, so let's move over to the NFC. Um, now we have the NFC East, which is also going to be a great division. Uh, there's a lot of hype on Curtsy. I mean, I have, we haven't played a game yet. And I haven't even ever seen him play, but there's a lot of hype on him apparently. And uh, he has a pretty good squad in the Giants that he got late in the draft, so he got lucky there. Um, the Redskins, of course, are back with Betts. Um, he is a three-time champion. It's really hard to pick against him. Um, we got the Eagles, who who beat Betts tonight. <laughs> uh, UCC Brett is back. He was 14 and two with the Broncos last season. So just think what he can do with the speedy offense of the Eagles. And uh, we got PZ back with the Cowboys. Decided to be back in Dallas. He won the uh, March Madness Challenge, which got him the 10th pick in the draft. So great, great job there. And I think that's kind of a fun thing to do. Maybe we can uh, do a couple things like that in the future, uh, get some guys motivated to get, you know, a high draft pick. But I think the NFC East is, is all Redskins. Um, I think we might see the Eagles and the, and the Cowboys both in the playoffs. Um, but I'm going to go with the Redskins win the division and the Cowboys and the Eagles both getting in the playoffs. Yeah, this is another division, just like, you know, the AFC South. It's the same thing, but in the NFC, this is a stacked division. And I think three teams are probably going to get in the playoffs from this division. I see the Redskins, you know, I see them, you know, being in first maybe. I heard a lot of things about this guy, on the Giants guy. You know, I haven't really seen anything on production on the field, but I heard a lot of good things about him. This is a tough division. Um, I see it's going between the Redskins and the Eagles, and then the wild card is going to be between the Giants and the Cowboys. Yeah, I I 
can't disagree with you. I think the Giants, of course, he's a rookie, and I don't respect rookies. So uh, you have not, I think he's going to finish 500, but I still don't think he's going to be in the playoffs. This division is just way too crazy, but uh, we'll see. So now we uh, we turn our attention to the NFC North, uh, which has Paulie, you, uh, you with the Lions, and Calvin Johnson, and you are already 2-0, and and you just beat uh, the Buccaneers, which is a great win, so congrats on that. Uh, then we have the Packers, who were coached by Hova, who uh, had a pretty bad season with the Bengals last season. Um, then we have the Bears, who are not coached by Young Cat for once. Uh, we have Tuck Fat there. Tuck Fat did not have a good season with the Cowboys last year, so he's looking to turn it around. And the Vikings are coached by MMX, who is the website guy, and yes, he does play as well. Um, last year he was the Niners, and he uh, got knocked out of the playoffs. So I think this division will be going to you, the Lions. Uh, I think. It'll be a two-man race. It'll be you and MMX. Um, whoever wins those two games head-to-head will win this division. Uh, I'm going to go with you and the experience. I think you uh, finished 10-6, and 9-7 and seven around there, even though you played the NFC East and the AFC South, which is uh, which is a gauntlet. But I think you still win this division. Yeah, brutal schedule, man. By far one of the hardest schedules in the league. I never had a schedule like this in the second half, playing all the top dogs. I'd probably say the top ten teams in the league the second half of the season. But, um, you know, Hova, oof, he's out of it, man. I don't know. Oof, I can't say anything about that. But, you know, Duck Fat, he has it out for me. And I think, you know, he's going to be some tough competition, especially with that Bears D. Um, as far as MMX goes, I think he's the closest to the challenge, you know. And I think, you know, he might win this division. But, you know, MMX, uh, wake up call, brother. Um, you don't have the 49ers defense. And guess what? Rawr, the Lions are coming for you, my son. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, the Vikings, trust me, their defense is not good. Or maybe I just suck. Who knows? I, I don't know anymore. So who, who am I to tell you? So anyway, um, the NFC South, we have uh, the Buccaneers, Jay Fon's back with the Bucks, Even though he missed, I think, two two picks in the draft, he, I think he was skipped twice. He got, he got all bent out of shape, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. But he got the Buccaneers back, and uh, I think he's happy about that. Now, uh, the Falcons are coached by Chief D, who is my other, uh, my other breakout coach. I think he... Uh, He's going to have a really good season now. Uh, we get the Panthers, who was coached by Jay Did. Last year he came back with, I think, maybe three or four games. Uh, uh, he only played three or four games, so he didn't win any games with the Browns. And then we got the Saints and Coach Ron. I uh, got a sexy-ass wife, and uh, Ron is always a playoff contender. I think he, I think Jay Fod, I think uh, Chief Rory are all going to be battling for that first-place spot. And with the NFC being so good, I think division winner gets in, and that's it. So, I'm going to go with Chief for D. I'm going to go a little different here. I think uh, I think he breaks out this season and wins this division and leaves uh, and Ron and, and Jay Fine out of the playoffs. That's a good call, man. That's a good call. You played him a couple of times. You know what he can offer, and I, I kind of agree with you. You know, I kind, I kind of, you know, I'm riding the Falcons guy. He did good with the Colts. Jay Fine, he was good, but he can't get over the hump. He can't, he's like the Bills with Jim Kelly. He can't get over the hump, you know. Maybe he can win, he can win, he can win. Then when it counts, he just – falls down unless people run over him, you know. Um, I just, you know, he probably still has some tracks on his uh, face from me just running over him a couple minutes ago. But, you know, I think Ron will do well. You know, Ron's going to challenge the Falcons. The Bucks are going to be the Bucks. He knows his team. He played with his team for about four centuries now, and he's still just, you know, good enough and not that great. And Jay did. Uh, he's, I don't know, I don't think he's going to be in it. No, I don't think so either. So I don't think we both agree there. So now the NFC West, which uh... – I mean, it could be – this could be a really bad division as well. I mean, uh, no offense or anything, but uh, Trigger Dan is the only hope, I think, in this division, unless Ron Neasy is very good. I mean, we don't know. But uh, I beat Trigger Dan, and that doesn't say too much because uh, I'm not playing too well with the Patriots. But Trigger Dan is the Cardinals, and even though he's a very good coach, uh, that's the Cardinals. So, I mean, there's only so much you could do. Uh, the same goes with the Rams. Uh, Ron Neasy, I don't know, you know. We don't know how he is, so we'll, we'll see what happens there. We got the Niners and Darth Blunt. Darth Darth Blunt. That's just a great name. Uh, he was one and fifteen with the Falcons. He was zero and fourteen until he won his his first game. So uh, I mean, it, the Falcons are a pretty good team. So the Niners, I mean, obviously a little bit better, but how much more? How many more wins can he get? I think. I, I mean, I think he'll still get the win, but I, I don't think he's going to win his division now. And now Seattle could be the dark horse. Uh, the Panthers back with the Seahawks. Um, he was them last season. I know. I know he went four and twelve, but um, he knows the playbook. He knows the defense. I think he can maybe surprise us. But 
I'm still going to go with Trader Dan to win this division, maybe at 8-8 eight and eight or 9-7. and seven. And the Niners and Seahawks to battle for second and the Rams in last. But uh, I don't expect Trader Dan to go too far in this division. Yeah, talk about the dump star of the MOF, man. Wow. This division is – I can't imagine this division getting any worse. Seriously, if Dan don't win this division, just, you know, I don't know, just break the control in half and call it, call it a day, man, because – this division's weak. I don't really know about the rookie there and the Rams, but I don't know. This division just doesn't appeal to me, man. I don't know. I've seen Pop Warner teams that, you know, could have a better chance of winning this division than the teams that are in it right now. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. Just play all your games and uh, have fun, man, because I don't know. Try your best. <laughs> no, I, I agree with you. So, so with that said, um, our my, my NFC championship game, I'm going to go, I think, with uh, I'm gonna go with the Cowboys and Redskins. I think somehow that they will they will face off in the NFC Championship. I'm going to go with Dallas knocking off uh, Coach Betts. I think we're going to see Quincy. We're going to see Latin Yank in the Super Bowl. Two different teams, and I think uh, I think Quincy is going to take one down. I know I know he thinks he's uh, he's not playing too good defense, but he's going to, he's going to turn it around. And I expect him to take down the MOF Championship this season and uh, see a new face there. Nope, don't think so. I think it's going to be. You know, in the NFC Championship, it's going to be the Eagles versus the Redskins. And um, from that on, I think um, the Redskins get dethroned like they did tonight. And the Eagles taking on, you know, either Jags or the Titans. And, you know, I think the Eagles are going to win this championship this year. You know, you see Brett. Uh-huh. Hey, both time, baby. You got it. There you have it. You picked the Eagles. I picked the Cowboys. Uh, let, let's see what happens. Both of us did not pick either Betts or Young Cat, so that, that's, a, that's a shocker. So, All right, so with that, um, I know next week we're going to go through our picks of the week, uh, our best two picks, but we have some on hold. Yeah, I, think it's, uh, I think it's Coach Old School from the Browns. Um, Coach, you there? Yeah, I'm here. So, Coach Old School, welcome to the MLF. Well, uh, thank you. <clears throat> so, uh, now, with the Browns, I know, I know it's not too. Uh, you didn't, you didn't even pick them. You actually, you were, you were rewarded the Browns. What do you think <laughs> your, uh, your your biggest challenges are going to be with these Browns? Uh, getting W's. <laughs> uh, now, actually, um, I, I, actually, I did get my one W that that was um, projected to get. So maybe I can build on that and get two. Yeah, I was going to say congratulations on beating the Ravens. Uh, Coach Crazy's been here for a really long time, so that's definitely something to hang your hat on, so good job there. I appreciate it. So, now, before Paul, you ask you a couple of questions, I'm going, to, I'm going to ask you a question. Where do you see yourself? Do you, you think you're going to finish maybe 3-13, and 13, maybe 6-10, and 10, maybe 8-8? Eight and eight? Uh, Where do you think you're going to finish this season? That's kind of hard to say with this team, but I'm shooting for 500, definitely shooting for 500. Um, my problem now is I go through playbooks all the time, and you know, instead of settling in on one, I tend to jump around a lot. But I think I'll settle in on the ones I'm going to go with, and I'm going to give them the best shot. Hey, man, good job, man. I like the win over the Ravens. You know, you won over a big vet. Great job. I love the accent. I love the deep self thing you got going on. But hey, you're gonna run. You gotta run Richardson wild, man. That's your man, Richardson. Get on his back and play action off him. Um, what do you think you can do? You think you can win this division? Who do you think is the biggest challenge outside of the Ravens and uh, you know in your division? Well, I mean, being new, I'm not too sure about how these guys play. Um, but uh, I know I lost to Baldy earlier this evening, but. All my losses thus far haven't been blowouts. That's my thing. I mean, I, I can stand losing as long as I play a competitive game. And so I've noticed thus far my three games that I've played so far, that have been pretty close. I've been in there. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, you know, converting my turnovers to points and things like that or scoring in the red zone. So I just got to figure this team out and see what I can do. All right, and uh, what, what's your past experience as far as Madden goes? Have you played any other leagues, anything that compares to MOF? Because, you know, I know you're a little wet behind the ears, but you sound like you're, you know, as far as your voice goes, you sound like you're pretty established. So, you know, what's your past experience as far as Madden goes? Well, uh, actually, just to let you all know, I'm 51 years old. Uh, I love football, period, and I've been playing Madden probably about 12 years now. And uh, the leagues that I'm in is one called OGML. They have uh, OGML 1 and OGML 2. 
And uh, both of those leagues I've been in for a while. And uh, a lot of the guys in those leagues I know very well. So that's my thing. I like playing in leagues that are sim and that the guys are cool. I like the camaraderie. You know, uh, every once in a while I, I'm, I'm in leagues where I uh, get in these little confrontations, you know, and uh, you just make enemies sometimes. But I'm not looking to do that here. I know so far I've already complained a lot in the uh, chat room that I got these doo browns, you know, but I'm going to make it work. You know, I'm just glad to be in the league, though. You know, this league seems very active, and I like what it's about. So I'm, I'm going to do my best. Yeah, okay, man, so you know, we, we really appreciate I'm oh, sorry, Paul, I got no, nah, man, I, hey, I appreciate what you said, man, and uh, everything you say is what we strive to be. You know, I'm like 51 years old and playing. I hope I'm 99 years old and playing because I love football, you know, and it drives me every day. I can't wait until August smelling, you know, preseason games and all that, and, you know, I hope everybody turns out like you, man. I give you props for what you do, and I hope you, uh, you know, keep it on because, you know, you're all, what MOF is all about in the future, man. Okay. Yeah, you All right. Words right in my mouth, Foley. That's exactly what I was going to say, Coach. Coach Old School, we're we're really glad to have you here. Um, you definitely sound like the coach that we're we're really excited to have here. And uh, yeah, we hope everyone has your your passion. So uh, again, we thank you for being a part of the league and good luck this season. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for the opportunity. All right, Coach. All right. Take care. All right. So hey, he sounded like he really uh, really likes this place, and and we're we should be uh, we should be happy to have him here. So. Uh, with about three minutes left, uh, we we can run through our picks real quick if you'd like, if you want to uh, pull that up, Holly. Yeah, man, I got you. So week one, um, my, two, my two lock it up picks. I'm going to pick um, the Falcons to beat the Rams. That's my one lock it up. And my other one, I'm going to say, uh, uh, let me see here. I'm going to go Jacksonville over Indianapolis, lock it up. Lock that up, huh? You picked one from East Conference? Uh, let me see. Uh, let's see. My my lock up, let's see, for uh, week three. Um, let's see. I would say uh, Washington over um, the Packers. That's a lock up, no doubt about it. And uh, week four, I would say, um, uh, let's see what I got here. We picked a lot of the same games here. Um I would say, oof, this is a tough one. Um, I would say the Jags over the Jets just to make Alex a little mad. <laughs> Excellent. Well, you both picked the Jags there, too. You both picked a lot of the same games. So um, so what would you pick, week one and week four? Okay, so let me do two more. I'm going to do uh, one from week two. I'm going to say uh, I'm gonna say Washington beats Dallas. I don't think they played yet, right? No. I'm going to say Washington beats Dallas here. No, they did play. I'm sorry. Okay. Um uh, then let me think. Let me say um, Detroit, you, you beat Chicago, lock that up. I think you're going to kick his, uh, his rear end there. And week three, let's lock up um, the Jets over the Cardinals big. Nice, nice. I like that. Jets giving the Jets some love. Uh, I'll do week one and week two, which I didn't do. I'll do uh, Dallas uh, over Green Bay because uh, Green Bay, I don't think, is going to win a game this season. Sorry, man. I love you, you're man. Green Bay. Bay. Woo. And uh, what else? Uh, what I got? I got game week two. I'll go with um, I'll go with the Saints over the Rams because the Rams haven't really showed up yet. Need to have the Saints, but I know um, Ron has a sexy wife, so that gives him a win. All right, all right. Well, that that gives our 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 our, our pitch of the week. And um, Paul, any last words before uh, before we go here this week? Yeah, man. Thanks, man. Old school. You know, really thanks for calling in. You know, I wish the other guys had some uh, in the league had some balls big like yours to uh, call in and actually confront and talk to us about the league. You know, you guys are the league, so I want you guys to be the league and call in, you man. All it takes is, you know, a couple digits and uh, a little bit of voice. So um, thanks for old school again, and thanks for uh, the commission for uh, putting this all on. I appreciate it. Uh, You're welcome. And, and again, yes, I I agree. Thank you, old school. And, guys, yeah, definitely give us a call. I mean, uh, there's really nothing to be afraid of. Just give us a call, chat, chat about your team, we'll ask you a couple of questions. There's really nothing to be afraid of. Um, let us know. Next week we'll be on again, uh, Thursday, 11 p.m. If you want to be a guest, it's easier if you tell me in advance. Just way so we know you're calling, and, uh, and that's about it. So, Paulie, thank you for our um, our great show this week. No problem, man. Always a pleasure. 
and we will talk next week. Uh, guys, MOF Radio, thank you for calling us. Uh, I'm going to leave us with a the song from Alkaline Trio's new album, uh, so make sure you pick that up. It's a great album. So we'll see you next week, MOF Radio. <laughs>